Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the most important topic of our sociology and the name of the topic is household. Earlier we will discuss, we had already discussed family and all the concept related to family. In this lecture we will discuss household. Now what should be the structural format of household? The structural format in this, what we will discuss in this class. The first we will discuss the introduction part, then what should be the characteristics features of the household, then types, then contemporary issues related to the household and then we move on to the criticisms related to household concept and then the differences between household and family. UPSC will ask this topic each and every year and uh, they will mainly ask you in 10 marker question, not in 20 marker question. So simply we will discuss the household. In introduction we will define what do you mean by household. So in introduction according to A.M. Shah, we will define according to A.M. Shah, he gave the definition of household. According to A.M. Shah, strictly commercial, strictly commercial and co-resident group, strictly commercial and co-resident group is known as household. strictly commercial and co-resident group is known as household according to A.M. Shah. In introduction we will define what do you mean by household. Now what should be the characteristics features of the household? He gave two important characteristics features of the household. Characteristics features. He gave two, impo two important characteristics features of the household. The first characteristic features is no co-partnership. No co-partnership and the second important characteristic features of the household given by A.M. Shah is no ritual corporateness. Is it clear? What should be the characteristics features in this? He discussed no co-partnership means no there is sharing of property in between the members residing in a particular area or in a roof or in a single roof and second no ritual corporateness means they are not bound ritually towards each other. So he gave the definition, he gave the characteristics features and then he gave the types of the types of household. To, to clarify the composition of family to clarify the composition of family as a concept, he gave the concept of household. Now according to him, he categorized household into two categories. The first is simple household and the second is complex household. We will discuss the simple household and then complex household. In simple household, he gave, he said that in simple household, it consists of whole or the part of a family. It consists of whole or the part of a family is known as simple household. And the uh, and in the complex household, he said that it consists of two or more parental families or a part of the parental families. What I, what whatever I am saying here now, just note it down. Take so what is simple household consists of family or the part of the family and what should be the complex household which consists of two or more than two parental families or a part of parental families. He said that in simple household there are six type, six type of simple household and in complex household he said that there are three types of complex household. Now what should be the simple household? Simple household.
he said that there are six type of simple household the first household in which there is a man and woman means husband and wife residing in a particular roof residing in a particular house is known as simple household first man with his wife second only man is residing in a particular uh, in a particular roof or second only wife is residing in a particular house the second is man wife with his unmarried child children are residing the third type is unmarried brother and sister residing in a particular house is known as fourth type of household now what should be the fifth type man with his unmarried child and the sixth is woman with his unmarried child children residing in a particular house so these are the six types of simple household he categorized into six type that is 1 2 3 4 to 6 now in the complex household he said that it consists of two or more parental families or the part of parental families simply he gave three types one two three means one or two family residing in a particular house the second is one family is complete family one one complete family plus a part of second family means some some people of the second family in residing in a particular group the third is the whole the whole part of the family listen it carefully so whole family two or more than two families are residing in a particular house that is known as complex household the second is whole family is residing in a one whole family is residing with a part of another family means some members of the other family residing with a first family this is known as the second type of complex household and the third is a part of some family said for example one family some member of the first family and some member of the second family are residing with a within a house that is known as complex household which is are of three types in this we will discuss introduction the character the types and at la and now we will discuss the contemporary changes or the contemporary things related to household contemporary in this we will discuss four or three or four points majorly uh, three to four points in this we will discuss that nuclear household is much more is much more in number than joint household nuclear household in the in the in the era of globalization or in the modern era nuclear household is much more in number the the size the second important is the size of the household is continuously increasing why because of the increase in the population because of increase in the pressure on the land because of increasing longevity so because of this the average size of the household is increasing the third joint household is much more prominent in rural areas than in urban areas joint household now fourth which is the most important contemporary things which i want to discuss here is life cycle of the development of household life cycle life cycle of the development of a household said for example you married to a woman to so husband and wife they form a household with their parents but with the passage of time they gave birth to a child now they form a different type of household and with the passage of time they become grandfather and grandmother now the household continuously changing changing their form and that is known as the life cycle of a household these are the four things which we will have to discuss in the contemporary issue now what should be the criticisms of the household point matlab uh, household theory that all of uh, we will discuss all the things then what should be the criticism of this point in criticism we will discuss only two points criticism is also important we will discuss only two points this whole theory talks about the quantitative aspects quantitative aspects of the household they are not talking about the qualitative aspects quantitative aspects 
this should be the first criticism and what should be the second criticism this theory neglect the functional role of family functional role functional role of the family so now at last we will discuss the most important topic the most important point of our topic that is the difference between the family and household upsc asks this topic each and every alternate year that what should be the difference between family and a household they they are people are using this these words interchangeably but that is not the condition here we have to define we have to differentiate between family and household and one of the most important differentiation we will discuss here so difference between family and household we will have to discuss the difference between family and household we will discuss only one difference with example so that it is clear that what should be the difference between family and household now what should be the difference the difference is household generally are of two type first is family household and second is non family household family household and this one is non family household now what should be the family household in the family households the people the members who are residing in a common area they are related to each other by their blood by adoption or by marriage but in the non family household the they are residing to uh, they are residing in a particular house but they are not related to each other by their blood or any kingship relationship there is no any king uh, kingship relationship so what should be the example here family means family and what should be the example here non non family household in this we will discuss the examples of non family household unmarried couples living relationship unmarried couples gay and lesbian couples residing in a particular house they falls into the category of non family household so this should be the difference between the family household and this should be the difference between family household and non family household so this is all about the concept of household we will discuss what should the introduction with definition of am sa then characteristic features with the types of household simple and the complex household and this differentiation is given by am sa only and then we will discuss the contemporary issues and difference between the family household and Uh, family household and non family household means family and non family uh, generally this point is very important and this point difference between family and household upsc will ask this topic each and every year so hope you like the video lecture and that is all about the household thank you